Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this typography animation in After Effects. Now, this is a very simple animation, and this tutorial is purely focused towards beginners for people who are just getting started with After Effects. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Also, if you are very new to After Effects, I mean, you are opening this software for the very first time, then you can check out my full fledged After Effects course, link to which is in the description. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as this is going to be our main render comp. Set the width and height to 1920 by 1080 and frame rate to 30 FPS and change the duration to 10 seconds. Press OK. Then let's create another new comp. This is going to be our text placeholder. So let's call this text and change the height to around 300 pixels and press OK. Then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in something like young designers. Align this into the center. For the font, I'm using the integral CF. You are free to use whichever font that you like. And if you don't find this align tab, you can find it under windows align. So here we have our text. Now let's go ahead and animate this. So to do that, I'm going to create a new composition called this pattern. Press OK and drag the text composition inside the pattern comp. Now let's go into effects and presets and search for motion tile. Double click to apply that. Let's increase the output width to around 1000. And now we can go ahead and animate this. So let's drag this out like so. I can even turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise. Select the layer, hit P to bring down the position and adjust this. All right, let's create a keyframe, go one second forward in time and drag this like so. Then go to two seconds and drag it again. Go to three seconds and drag this. And then finally add four seconds and drag this one more time. So now if I preview this, we have a very linear animation and also I think it's a bit too fast. So let's first of all increase the time duration so we can select all the keyframes, hold alt and drag this to stretch the timing like around there, 8 seconds. Alright, then select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to ease ease them. Go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. And then I can manually tweak all these graphs, but I have a quick tip for you here. So remember the script that I told you in the start of the lesson, you can go into windows and find the keyframe Bingman right over here. And this is going to help us tweak all these graphs together. So we can select these keyframes and just using one single handle, I can tweak all the graph together. So I'll set this to around somewhere around 85 should be good. And now if I preview this, we have a really interesting motion to our text. Pretty cool. Maybe I can go at around 10 seconds and let's add another movement here. So now again, if I want, I can select all the keyframes by clicking on the position and clicking on the small button that you see. And there we go. So there we have our pattern ready. Now let's go back to our main render comp and drag the pattern composition. Go into effects and presets and search for an effect called tint. Double click to apply this. Also I'm going to bring down the size of this comp. So press S to bring down the scale property and let's set this to around maybe 50 should be good. Then I'm going to press F4 on the keyboard and turn on the collapse transformation. So this is going to make things a bit more visible here. Pretty cool. Now let's go back into our text and add a background. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Set the color at black and press OK. Keep it below our text. Now if I go back into our main render comp and duplicate this, press Ctrl D. Let's move it down like so. And if I click on swap colors, there we have an interesting contrast right over there. So just to figure it out, I can just swap these colors again. 
we go right here and align this properly like so now let's add a bunch of copies here so i'm going to select these layers hit p to bring down the position and drag them up like so pull this below press ctrl d select this hit p to bring down the position and let's move this down like so again select this pattern press ctrl d move this press ctrl d move this and the same exact process all right now i will select this first comb and click on swap colors copy this effect ctrl c select every other layer like so and press ctrl v so now we have a cool color combination going on let's right click and create a new null object and parent everything to this null now if you don't see this parent option you can press f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible so i'll rename this to control and then we can press s to scale this down and basically adjust the complete look here also we can hide this layer for now now let's select the first layer hold shift and select the last layer go a few frames forward maybe around maybe five frames hold alt and right square bracket to crop this layers then go into animation keyframe assistant and sequence layers press ok and then drag them out like so i'll go right here and now if i preview this we have a pretty interesting animation now to add a bit more depth to this scene what i'm going to do is create a new adjustment layer call this blur go into effects and presets and search for camera lens blur double click to apply this and then let's create a new composition call this map make sure the width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 press ok hit ctrl y to create a new solid we can call this layer then go into effects and presets again search for gradient ramp change this to radial ramp and let's drag this into the center now we can adjust the gradient if we want to and we will be using this gradient ramp to drive the focus here so let's drag and drop in the map composition and hide that go into the blur adjustment layer and set the blur map to map so now if i increase the blur radius you can see we get this really nice depth into our scene which looks pretty nice now we can adjust the map the way i want all right so this adds a bit more depth into our scene now let's select the control here that is a null object press r and let's rotate it a little bit just to add a bit more dynamic look to this and we can scale this up like so now let's also animate the scale along with the motion so i'll go right over here create a keyframe on the scale let's go a couple of frames forward in time and scale this in go a few frames forward and again let's copy this keyframe Control c Control v and then again I will, i'll go a few frames forward copy these two keyframes Control c Control v and then i'll select all these keyframes and apply the same exact curve so i'll click on this icon and now let's preview this And that is looking pretty cool i think we need to increase the speed of this a little bit so i'll select all the keyframe hold alt and drag this like so and there we go it's looking pretty damn cool i think so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did do let me know in the comment section below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you want to learn after effects the right way i have a full fledged after effects course again link to which is in the description with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out